The White House is teaming up with an unlikely ally to fight for prison reform. We're talking about CNN political commentator Van Jones. There's Van right there, side by side with the president's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner. Uh, what was this like? Why was he there? We are joined now by Van Jones. And Van, before we get into the serious discussion here, I would like to replay for you the greeting you received by President Trump. I also want to thank Van Jones primarily because he constantly says such nice things about me. <laughs> he did. He did. Every once in a while, right? Every once in a while. He did. He's, hey, he actually has on occasion. <laughs> Not too often, but I'll tell you what, though, it does feel good. <laughs> so, Van, as you yourself have noted, you are left of Pluto. So why yes. is someone left of Pluto sitting next to Jared Kushner being praised by the president? Well, I tell you, it was a surreal moment, um, and, and it came as a result of, of, of real good consideration. Uh, as you know, and as the president pointed out, I'm tough on this White House. If you give me 100 issues on 99 issues, I've been beating them up hard uh, because I'm for human rights, I'm for immigrant rights, I'm for trans rights, I'm for the environment. But I had to come to a decision. If, I'm, if on 99 issues, I'm against you, but on one issue, uh, someone like Jared Kushner, whose dad went to prison, wants to do something. And on that one issue, it would help women who are being brutalized in prison. It would get 4,000 federal prisoners home. It would give people the opportunity to come home earlier if they earn their way home earlier. If you could actually do something to help somebody, do you just do nothing uh, because you don't like them on 99 other issues? And I said to myself, I can't sit here and let 2,000 federal prisoners continue to be abused if they're sincere and we can make something happen. It turns out Hakeem Jeffries has been working on a bill that would actually make things a lot better for people in prison right now and Jared Kushner supports that bill. And so I went to the White House to say, listen, if you guys are serious and you want to make something happen, uh, progressives like myself on this one issue, you're going to fight you on 99, but on this one issue, we're not going to let federal prisoners continue to be abused. If you want to get something done, uh, let's get something done. Prison reform is one thing. Sentencing reform is a completely different thing, something you also care passionately about. Any sign that there's wiggle room there from this White House? Not, you know, not yet. And I think that the, the civil rights community right now is actually a little bit divided. Uh, some people are saying if we can't get everything, if we can't get sentencing reform, criminal justice reform, prison reform, we can't get everything, we'll just take nothing. Well, the problem is we've been saying that for now for eight years. We, we said everything or nothing under Obama, and we wound up with nothing. And so I, don't th I think continuing to do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome, is the definition of insanity. Mm -hmm. If you look at what's happened at the state level, th they usually start off with a minor set of reforms, Texas, uh, minor set of reforms, and then over time, they closed eight prisons in Texas, eight prisons, uh, because over time you begin to build up a bipartisan coalition and consensus to get more done. Some people say, if you, if, if you do a little bit now, you'll do nothing later. So, what I've seen is everybody wants to do everything at once, and we've gotten nothing done. So uh, I support Hakeem Jeffries and Keith Ellison and mm -hmm. Tulsi Gabbard and a bunch of good progressives in, in Congress who say, let's take yes for an answer on prison reform and then keep up the fight for sentencing reform. You know, it's interesting. People I've talked to within this movement say that they have a receptive ear in Jared Kushner for sure, and they believe the president as well. But they feel that Jeff Sessions, who's the attorney general and holds great weight in all of these discussions, is absolutely opposed to these reforms. Is that something that you saw when you were sitting in that White House? Um, look, I think there's a, there's a split in this administration. And, you know, and that happens in administrations on key issues. You'll have, you know, should we go to war or not? Or should we do this or not? You'll have different camps and different factions. What I've been impressed by is, uh, as, as much as I disagree on Jared on issue after issue, on this issue, he has been tough, he's been tenacious, and he's built up a coalition inside the administration. And, there's, uh, and Hakeem Jeffries has built up a Democratic coalition outside the administration. You might actually get something done. And, and, and wouldn't it be amazing if the one area of bipartisan thaw and cooperation in the entire country was to help the least of these, to help people who have nothing, mm -hmm. to have people who've been left out, who've been thrown away, people who are being brutalized right now, women who are being forced to give birth to babies wearing sh while, while they're shackled, who, are, who, who don't even have the, the right to tampons. If you could actually do something for the least of these in this situation, I think that would be a very good sign. We can fight about every other issue for, for, from now till eternity. But if you could do something to help people come home earlier, mm. uh, job ready, uh, I don't see how you say no. Mm. Very quickly, Van. 
Any other quality time with the president you had in there to get a chance to, <laughs> for chit chat, enjoy some tea, no. anything? Uh, no, you know, it was the most surreal experience sitting there, and here's this guy that I've been beating up on for, you know, and, and will continue to for three years, and he's, you know, right there, and he's looking at me and he's teasing me, and I'm like, uh, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, but I tell you what, uh, he, he did, he, uh, I was afraid in that speech he was gonna, you know, start saying stuff that I disagreed with. Actually, he, everything he said about compassion for prisoners, I think the most liberal mm -hmm. Democrat would have agreed with. Good luck on booking him for the Van Jones show. We'll be watching <laughs> for that. Van, thanks so much. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.